When we're talking about pre-emphasis, we're looking at a way in which we can improve the low frequency signals to a high input frequency signals. And therefore, we shall have a circuit that has got an inductor and a resistor. And the resistor is normally connected in series with the input signal, while the inductor is normally connected to the ground and across the output terminal. That now makes it very easy for us to have it. When the signal frequencies are very low, they'll be conducted with the, with the resistor and across to the output terminal. And when the, the low frequency gets to the inductor, the inductor will see them as a DC function and they'll be able to conduct to the output. But upon these frequencies growing higher, the inductor will offer some resistance which will now block the higher frequency. And by that case, we shall be aiding the low frequency to the output. And that's what calls pre-emphasis. So pre-emphasis, it is the process. It is the process <coughs> of ensuring that low frequency signals are conducted more than higher frequency signals. The resistors allows the conductivity of low frequency signals, but at higher frequencies, The inductance creates a high reactance, creates a high resistance reactance path. Hence, the output signal is emphasized So with the emphasis, the signal at the input has got higher frequencies. And uh, we now aid them to go to the output. So the signal at the input 
have higher frequencies and therefore will not be able to get to the output terminal. This circuit is made of a, a resistor and a capacitor connected across the output terminal. Therefore, the characteristic curves of the pre-emphasis and the de-emphasis circuit is as given below. Thank you. 